Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. And they continue on the stage like today playing to be the church order, playing to be, you know, this statesman. But what they are doing behind the back, it's evil. It's evil. These people, what they are doing, it's evil what they are doing. These people are doing evil things behind the stage. But when they come out, they come out dressed nicely. They start talking and whatever, lying left, right and center. But what they are doing is evil, these people. Then, of course, we have the issue of JJ. Look at the issue of JJ. I mean, you may not like JJ. Yes, you can say JJ was notorious. JJ did whatever, whatever. But really, look at JJ's cases. Look at JJ's scenario. This JJ that you, you want to verify, you want to make uh, look so bad, this was the JJ. I will keep repeating this. This was the JJ that was a close friend to Haka in the Ichinema. He was one of those people that he had brought he had brought close. That's why JJ became the leader of the uh, independent members of parliament. Hmm? That's why the, he was made that because he was a darling to the UPND at that point at that moment. And all of a sudden, because JJ is found with it, with Ed Galun and look what is happening to him. Look what is happening to him. And really, all those, especially those that are close to Ed Galun, I mean, they are a target. They are a target. Even Ed Galun himself now, today we are talking about this eligibility. I'm telling you about eligibility. eligibility. Because eligibility these people have concluded they don't want it to go any other way. They don't want it to go any other way. They want to bar Edgar Lung from contesting. Like I'm telling you that some of us, we know what is happening in the background. We know. We know what is happening in the background. They have resolved Edgar Lung should not be on the ballot. And I am worried. I am worried. I am really worried about this situation. Why I'm worried because we are seemingly seeing how um, uh, how Haka in the Ichinema and his government they have succeeded in doing something that we never thought they can, can happen, something that is totally outside the law. And even this one, this is totally outside the law because it is very clear. Edgar Lungo's eligibility issue is is resolved. It is resolved. It is it is it is it is a fait accompli matter. It has been completed, it has been exhausted. But these people they are there now saying no, uh, we should open the case. On the eighth, just to give you a bit of background, some of you who may not understand, uh, who may not have followed this issue, the issue is that the Edgar Lungu's eligibility, somebody, the UPND have gone to court to say ECZ was wrong to accept the nomination of Edgar Chagwalungu. ECZ was wrong to accept the nomination of Edgar Chagwalungu because Edgar Chagwalungu did not qualify to contest as president in 2021 general elections. Which is, of course, the same question that was deliberated upon five times in the same court constitutional court and lawyers for Edgar Lungo they have come up to say but this case has already been concluded this case has already been 
uh, decided on. So we cannot open this case again. So it's a, this is a preliminary matter. And the court is supposed to rule on the 8th of July. They are going to rule as to whether the case should continue in court or they, are, they should say, well, we have adjudicated on this matter. We cannot continue with this matter. But information that I have, reliably so, is that State House, there is a, there is a guy there at State House that is busy threatening judges, busy pushing judges that they should not give it any other way. They should allow the case to continue. And once they allow the case to continue, once they rule that the preliminary should continue, then they will protract the case, protract the case until the, the, the general elections. They will protract the, 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 the case to avoid the confusion, to say, okay, if you, if you say it was illegal, what about Haka in the HDM? Then even Haka in the HDM was not legally elected. So to avoid those confusion, they will just protract the case. Protract the case until it reaches, you know, 2026. And then just before Edgar Lungu files in the nomination, and just before, you know, uh, Uka or the opposition, you know, find somebody to, to contest, they will bar Edgar Lungu. This will disorient Uka, this will disorient some of us, you know, and we will have no choice and uh, whoever we might pick will be, we will, first of all, you will have no time to, to go around and campaign, you know, and Haka in the will easily sell into the second term. These are the plans which are going on. Right now, as I'm talking, people are busy planning like that. They don't want Edgar Lungu on the ballot. Now, um, it is not that, I keep saying that, it is not that Edgar Lungu is the best person, okay? It is not that Edgar Lungu is the best person to contest. The issue is that, number one, it, is it right for people to scheme against another individual? Is it right that UPND, Haka and Hichidema, would scheme against the, a citizen of a country? Edgar Lungi is a citizen of a country. He has got rights. And if he wants to contest, he should be allowed to contest. He stood in 2021. And the case has already been resolved. Why should Haka and Hichidema and his people take away that right from him. Why? And this is where I call upon you Zambians to say we need to pray. We need to pray because we cannot continue having a situation where people's rights are being trampled upon. People's freedoms are being just taken away just like that. And we, we seem to have, we seem to have uh, nothing to do. We can't do anything. We seem to be powerless. I know uh, some people think that, you know, uh, I, I'm one person that we would want to say, let's go and protest and whatever, whatever. Even when I'm sharing what is happening in, in Kenya, I'm not sharing what is happening in Kenya to tell people that this is what you should do. No, no. If you have seen my sharing, is to warn people, is to warn the leadership that we don't need this kind of thing in our country. We don't need to decide things in violence. We don't need to decide things under pressure. It is just, it should just be good that we decide to do the right thing in a proper way. We don't need people to be protesting. We don't need young people on our streets. We don't need young people on our streets. We don't need young people on our streets. As far as I'm concerned, I am against, I'm a protest. I am against because I know at the end of the day, somebody gets hurt. 
And you know, when we are talking about some that get hurt, it is not just the young people that get hurt. Even the police, we saw, I shared that for a reason, the issue of that police officer who lost his four arms. Imagine, I mean, that man, you know, he was born with his hands. He has been living his life normal, normally. And now, he doesn't have, you know, limbs. He has, his hands are cut off. Honestly, I don't want that kind of thing. I don't want people, a young person died in Kenya. The last time Haka Hidema was called to come and uh, respond to charges, real charges, though I'm not the one that reported those charges, some, some, some people, hey, you reported, no, 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 I, did, I was not part of that. But nonetheless, Aka in the HM was called to police. And instead of going responsibly, he went with, you know, a, a, a swarm of people. And at the end of the day, we lost two lives. For me, I am against that. I, I treasure life. And I want the good of people. I don't want people to get hurt. So this is the point that I'm, I'm bringing to say, can we pray for Zambia? Because if we have a government that is always doing bad things and people are seemingly helpless, hopeless, at the end of the day, this is why you see people now going into the streets. We don't need that in Zambia. And this is why I'm asking for your prayers. Me, I'm not happy to see what is happening. Uh, in Kenya. I'm not happy to see what is happening in other countries. I, I don't like it. I, for one, as I don't like it. Even if you remember the last time that I demonstrated, I demonstrated alone because I didn't want any next person to get affected. That is how I do my politics. That is how I do my politics. You don't see me dragging this one and that one. Mm -mm. I've been arrested so many times, but no one time did I drag somebody in to be arrested with me or to be in problems with me. Of course, my people have been, they, they have encountered that. I remember the last time Andy and, uh, you know, another lady, Mazua, they were locked up, you know, because they were with me by the mere fact that they were just my assistants. Eh? They were just my assistant. They were locked up. The other time at home, you know, uh, IP from movie TV came to cover the police when they were breaking my house. And his camera person, they were locked up. But it is something that, I mean, was not, uh, I didn't cause it. I didn't bring these people to, no, I, I always, you know, go in alone. I am a peaceful person. I don't believe in this kind of confrontation. I don't. I don't. So I am praying that we don't have a situation out of this, you know, you saw the people that were, that went to court the other time, when the last time Ed Galung was, was uh, Pakon court. You know, I got worried when I saw that huge crowd. And I'm, 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 I'm worried. I mean, what will happen if people here know Ed Kalungu, uh, they are saying is not going to contest. I know a lot of people you are looking forward to seeing Ed Kalungu on the ballot. I know Ed Kalungu is the, four, is, the, is the forerunner in this race. And UPND, they are so scared of Edgar, Edgar Shagwalungu. But they are doing everything, everything they can to make sure that they bar Ed Kalungu. The question is, I mean, will the people accept, will our young people accept? And for how long will the UPND do these bad things? For how long? Hmm? For how long? Exclusive.
all right that's all right for you today lovely viewers if you did enjoy the video please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below i'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers once again i go by the name of mutatim pondum i love you peace i gotta go